We don't know yet. Uh, Bob Fioretti almost ran for mayor in 2011, but he actually had uh, cancer and decided not to run. Ultimately, Rahm Emanuel was elected, and since then, Bob Fioretti, as second ward alderman, has been as critical of Mayor Emanuel, or more so than even he was of his predecessor, Mayor Daley. Uh, it's very easy to get Bob Fioretti on the phone, and almost as easy to get him to criticize Mayor Emanuel. So now he's talking about possibly running, and in fact, he's advertised to recruit staff for a Fioretti 2015 campaign for mayor. There was a remap of the aldermanic uh, ward boundaries since the last election, and his second ward was carved up into something like seven pieces. So he doesn't really have the opportunity to run for re-election, certainly with no benefit of incumbency. And so he's looking to run for mayor. Anybody who might respond to the want ads that Fioretti's exploratory committee has put out there uh, might want to know that in the past, people who worked for his campaign have not been paid. And there was one case in particular where a former staffer who worked 12 to 14 hours a day, seven days a week for his first run for second ward alderman had to go all the way to the State Department of Labor to get help in getting paid. Uh, this staffer named Emily Miller spoke with me. She filed a wage claim. She said she was owed $3,000. She had been getting paid $2,000 per month under an oral contract. When she didn't get paid, she made many phone calls, sent many emails to Fioretti and his staffers, got no response, did not get her money until she filed this claim with the state. Fioretti's campaign responded that, hey, she knew we didn't have a lot of money and that her wages might be adjusted, as they put it. In the end, the state sided with Emily Miller and ultimately about halfway into his first term, so two years after she worked for him, Emily Miller was paid that $3,000 that she was owed by Fioretti's campaign. And mind you, this is a campaign where Fioretti either contributed or borrowed hundreds of thousands of dollars out of his own pocket or from his own law firm. Well, Fioretti did take my call, as he is often wont to do when reporters call, and this time, though, he didn't have that much to say, uh, not nearly as much as he usually has to say about Mayor Emanuel. So when I asked him about this, uh, Fioretti said, yeah, I do remember this, but my staffers are the ones that made the arrangements with Emily Miller. My staffers are the ones that decided, for whatever reason, not to pay her immediately. And didn't she get paid eventually? He was a bit sheepish about it, I would say. And I think that he often will not allow Mayor Emanuel to pass the buck to his aides. So if he applies the same standard to himself, then I think Fioretti should be the one who is responsible when his campaign doesn't pay and when there's a ruling by the Labor Department against his campaign for unpaid wages. So anyone who is applying to work for him this time, looking at this history, they might want any promises, such as how much they'll be paid, to be made in writing.